This is my first formal analysis. This is a painting called The Two Fridas, painted by Frida Kahlo in uh, 1939. It is an oil on canvas media painting. And it is also 68 inches by 68 inches. It is obviously a 2D work of art, but it was made with 3D effects to make it seem 3D. Um, <clears throat> Frida Kahlo uses many contour lines and crosshatch lines to create the figures of her painting. Uh, she also mainly uses organic shapes, not really too many geometric shapes being used here to kind of create her figures again. She also used various different colors uh, as well to portray the meaning and the message that she was trying to get across with this painting. Uh, and during this painting, or during the time of this painting, Frida Kahlo had just recently divorced her husband, Diego Rivera. And it left her feeling with a feeling of desperation. And she felt lonely because of this divorce. And so, for, and so to further portray this meaning, she incorporated the dark sky in the background, uh, which contrasts the kind of bright, brighter colors of the figures in the painting. She also used implied lines with the eyes of the two Fridas looking directly towards the viewer. <clears throat> um, this is an artwork. This artwork is a, is a surreal painting. It was made during the surrealist movement. And although Frida claims that she does not like to be put into the category of surrealism, I think a lot of people agree that she is a surrealist. Um, and it is because of the imagery and these symbolic images that she would usually paint. And uh, this painting is no short of that. It is a great example of a surrealist painting uh, due to its illogical and sort of dream-like scene that is being depicted here. Obviously, there will never there will never be two sort of identical humans with their hearts just exposed. Um, obviously, Frida was trying to portray her feelings with these figures in the painting with the fact that the traditional Frida, the one on the left, is holding the scissors uh, and is bleeding out, which again just comes to show how she was trying to get this message across of how she how she felt after the divorce. And another thing that she does to, to really get this message across is the contrast between the two, which just emphasizes the internal torment that she felt with her two personalities being exemplified here.